What is up people and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the latest update for Helldivers 2, patch 01.000.100, as well as the new split within the community due to said update, so let's get into it. First looking at the patch notes, for major updates, planetary hazards are now active, so many planets now have additional environmental challenges that will appear at random while you are deployed, from fire tornadoes to meteor showers and many more. This is really cool and I can't wait to see it in game. For balancing then, there's one mission in particular and it's eradicate missions. Eradicate missions now require more kills and enemies spawn more often. The time to complete the mission was previously shorter than intended and should now usually take twice as long to complete. This is really interesting, especially with the ongoing XP farm and meta build debate within the community. Moving on to primary, secondary and support weapons. For the breaker, decreased magazine capacity from 16 to 13 as well as increased recoil from 30 to 55. For the railgun, decreased armor penetration in safe mode and decreased damage against durable enemy parts. For the flamethrower, increased damage per second by 50%, which is very nice to see. For the laser cannon, increased damage against durable enemy parts, increased armor penetration and improved ergonomics. For the punisher, increased total ammo capacity from 40 to 60, increased stagger force, increased damage from 40 per bullet to 45 per bullet, and for the breaker spray and prey, increased armor penetration, increased fire rate from 300 to 330, increased number of pellets from 12 to 16 per shot, and decreased magazine size from 32 to 26. In terms of stratagems, the energy shield backpack has an increased delay before recharging, and the 380 and 120 orbital barrages have an increased duration and decreased spread. Now on to some notable fixes. Fixed armor rate and value is not reducing damage as intended. This is great for anybody who is looking to use heavy armor because previously there was no reason to because it didn't reduce damage and just made you slower. Fix certain bug holes including stalker nests that were unnecessarily hard to destroy. Balance lighting across all planets to solve cases where the game was too dark. Improved flashlight efficacy. Increased visibility during sand rain weather on Errata Prime. Changed button interaction behavior for buttons in bunker POIs. Helldivers will now let go of the button after holding it for a few seconds. If anybody's been open that, opening the bunkers with the two different buttons on either side, you'll know that you'll press to interact with it and your character can sometimes get stuck there for like 10, 20, 30 seconds. It was really irritating. Helldivers standing next to ICBMs during launch will get properly toasty with a chance of not so spontaneous combustion. That's a nice feature, I want to see that live. Camera no longer locked on player's own corpse and block in spectator mode. That's happened to me quite a few times, so that's great. And Helldivers now take damage from fire, gas, etc. generated by other players. So I don't know if anybody watching is in the Helldivers 2 subreddit, but it's an absolute chaos at the moment. It's like a civil war. The feel good vibe from the community that has been with Helldivers 2 from its release seems to be on course to crash and burn. The developers have the meta players in absolute hysteria with the nerfs to the railgun, shield generator pack and breaker shotgun. They're either upset that the items were nerfed or upset because a seemingly majority of, let's call them, regular hell divers are taking a lot of happiness from the fact that these items are no longer as meta. Now I already stated my opinion in a video which you can see here about XP farms and meta builds. I don't think that people should be bullied and I say that word loosely for their choice of weapons or stratagems, but I am almost sure that developers have said that this is not supposed to be a game where there is any meta, which is what I would say to all the meta players who are asking why the rest of the weapons or stratagems haven't been brought to the level of the breaker shotgun, shield generator pack and railgun post patch. It's because it's not the intention of the developers to have every weapon be so powerful that missions become easy in the same way that it's not their intention for some weapons to be so powerful that people only use specific loadouts while neglecting everything else in the game alongside working with their teams. I think it's a good decision. Everyone knew that the items were too good to the point where people were getting kicked from games for not having or selecting them, which is crazy. And some people now will say how difficult it is to complete higher level missions, and yeah, you're right, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. There's nine different difficulties and it really only gets very hard after five or maybe six, depending on your skill level. Difficulty level seven is labeled suicide mission. 
To me, that's setting the precedent that this is a really difficult mission, which you might not be able to even extract from, never mind impossible and hell dive. Basically, what I'm getting at is that these missions are not supposed to be easy by any means. Of course, as players, we still want to feel powerful, but at the same time, we shouldn't be able to put on select items and suddenly become a demigod that doesn't need to interact with his team for 40 minutes. And I feel like it should also be stated that the items we're talking about are by no means useless now and are still very powerful. So overall, I think it's a good patch. The only people who are upset are those who only use meta builds, which were never really supposed to be a thing. Regardless, I do hope that the player base doesn't become too toxic and we can still unite for the glory of Super Earth. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.